Hello everyone, and for today's video, I will be unboxing this God of War Chain of Olympus uh, entertainment pack. Let me slip the camera up here a little bit. As you can see, it is a really nice looking red PSP. Now, I actually own one of these, but the thing with it is, is that it's just had been having a lot of problems and it's basically unusable right now. Uh, it's had to be, its screen had to be replaced two times. Uh, the motherboard on it had to be replaced because of the lens it wasn't reading the UMD discs and the uh, the UMD door on it was not closing properly so obviously it wouldn't be reading the UMDs properly as well so I went on eBay and I managed to find this for a pretty decent price and I thought I'd just unbox it right now to see what it's like so yeah let's lift it up one more time very nice and let's see the back. The back isn't really anything special. Uh, it just says what it comes with it. And there is the red PSP with the Kratos sketch on it. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's unbox this already. So this is your first time doing something like this. So be really careful not to knock anything over. Set that aside there. And first off, we get some accessories it's like a media manager, a 2000 traveler case, and a memory stick duo pro, which is two gigabytes apparently. And so I guess that's pretty good. And let's see here. Uh, we got some manuals here. Nothing that special. A voucher for a what is this actually? I gotta take this off screen a little bit. It is a voucher for siphon filter combat ops. I doubt this works anymore. Uh, some manuals for the God of War game, a ratings guide, and some warranty information and customer service information and uh, some promotional stuff. Nothing that special. So let's just take this out of the packaging already. I already, I already opened the packaging because it's one of those really tough open package where you can pretty much cut your fingers off if you're not careful. And let's try to get this box out. Woo! get that out of the way let's open this up first so yeah so here's the battery with it this isn't the original one the one that actually came in this uh, it was actually just not even worth putting in the PSP it was uh the battery was like bloated a little bit and so it's obviously it's basically unusable so luckily I have this as a replacement uh, you get your charging cable first half of it Second half, and of course, the two UMDs. It's super bad. Really funny movie, and of course, God of War: Chain of Olympus. Set that aside, and here's the PSP itself. Again, it's a really nice red, and there is the Kratos sketching yet again. Really nice. Let's just take this seal off. And it actually didn't come with a memory card. So, thought it went ahead orally and put in one I already have. This is a 32 gigabyte one, so it'll hold plenty of games and stuff. Just put the battery in. See if the battery will. See the battery needs charging. I actually forgot. Oh yeah, one thing about this is that it actually does have a dead pixel on it, so I'm gonna have to definitely fix that in later on. 
So yeah, it's the basic uh, menu they were using at the time. So nine gigabytes left on it. And yeah, so here are some of the games I have on here already. Silent Hill, The Personas, Pac-Man Wall 3, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Midnight Club 3, Metal Slug, Medieval Resurrection, Oko Roko, Jack and Dexter, Lost Frontier, the Hatsune Miku games, Gradius, uh, the Final Fantasies, Dead or Alive, Castlevania, Ape Escape, and, and this was just the software. So let's, uh, let's try out the God of War game. Set this down here. It's out here. One thing I really don't like about these 2000 models is the hinge the door uses. These are really flimsy. Again, like I said on my original one I had, these bend really, really easy. They're really sensitive. So, and they can pop off the siding of this really, really easy as well too. So basically if they pop out, this thing is really hard to shut. It's really easy to open. And sometimes they'll just have trouble reading the UMDs or it won't even shut at all. So yeah, that was another problem that I was having with my original model. So let's see here. UMD. God of War, Chains of Olympus. Or how long it take to load? Actually, I think it loads up pretty well too. The model I had before, it was actually the lens, like I said, with the lens on it was dying. So it's actually taken over more than two minutes for it to start up a, a UMD on it. I mean, I understand that these are s slow for what they are, but it doesn't take two minutes to start up the game. And sometimes it would get to that uh, developer screen and it wouldn't even load at all. So let's try a new game out. Normal. Fix the brightness on this a little. So, yeah, there you can see uh, the dead pixel right there. So, like I said, I'm gonna have to get that fixed. It shouldn't be that hard though. The screen on these isn't really that hard to replace, you just gotta be very, you obviously gotta be very, very careful. They are very sensitive ribbons they are using on this thing. Right, so for a set of enemies and I still think that the game looks pretty good still let's try to keep this even ouch let's try to keep this even So yeah, it's pretty much, that's, uh, was this the first one that took place in the timeline, or was that, uh, no, that had to be uh, Ascension. So this is the game that takes place after Ascension, I believe. Uh-oh. Can I pull it without getting hit? Nope. Early last second. Guy's being very rude and interrupting.
I apologize if I'm going off angle. Like I said, first time trying this, and so it's going to be very, very awkward. Alright, let's try this again. Oh yeah, that, that pixel really needs to go. Where's your story of fuck? Evade. Pull an L and R and use an elastic to roll. Okay. Or I could jump. Or I could get hit. That's always good too. Real quick time. Time for one more hit. So that'll do it for this video for today. Uh, like I said, other than the one little dead pixel that's on the screen, but that can easily be replaced. Uh, I am very excited that I managed to get another one of these that's fully working again, uh, basically because I really like this PSP. And other than that, uh, that is really all there is. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, I also do want to remind you that I do have a Twitch channel. The link will be in the description below uh, where I usually stream uh, my backlog or any new releases that interest me so yeah uh, other than that uh, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time bye let's get another shot at the back again because it's really nice so yeah see you next time